It's the Camfield Memorial with the Lucas Oil Power Eye National Midget League here at Mighty Macon Speedway for the fourth time in 2022. Last night we were at Charleston Speedway where we seen Cannon McIntosh pick up his eighth feature win of 2022. Can Cannon continue the route of dominance here this season or will another driver step up to the plate? I was able to catch up to a few of the competitors here tonight at Macon Speedway to find out their strategy heading into the evening. Always good to catch up with a first time winner. Darren Stark, the last time we raced here at Macon, it was a pretty pivotal moment as you found yourself out front. How did it feel to pick up that first feature win with the Lucas Oil Power Eye National Micros? You know, it was a pretty good feeling with last year we ended up starting on the pole and lost one. You know, that one sucked, but we were able to get one when some of the heavy hitters were here last time and that felt pretty good. Hopefully we can have a fast car and get one tonight. Uh, if the track gets up on the top, I think we got a solid chance, but Hopefully just get it in. And kind of coming into the night, is there a specific strategy that you have or are you just kind of going to get up on the wheels and wing it? Uh, we're just going to get up on the wheel and show them who we are and hopefully end up at the front at the end of the night. That's that 55S, Darren Stark. A name synonymous in Illinois, the Camfield, Camfield Memorial here in Macon Speedway. Devin Camfield, what does this event mean to you? It means a lot, you know. It's fun always coming here close to home. Uh, little track, bull ring, you're on the wheel. so. It's always a good time here. And kind of been seeing you sporadically through the season. Any expectations coming into the event? Uh, I'd just love to make the show, you know. Running against the best in the world, it's hard, you know, to make the show. <laughs> That's so. car, car number 16C, Devin Camfield here at the Camfield Memorial at Mighty Macon Speedway. A show of dominance last night, Cannon McIntosh at Charleston Speedway. What is it about Charleston that just seems to click with you? Uh, I think we've just kind of figured it out with uh, the car. Um, you know, when we got there last year and I think when our first race there, we just kind of found something and we've actually learned quite a bit from that place just in general on the car. That's kind of helped us elsewhere too. Um, so just been able to just build off of that and, you know, every time we go back there, we, we can kind of do the same thing and, and, and be pretty good. We've, you know, made some minor adjustments, but still kind of the same baseline when we go there and uh, we just seem to have good speed there. and. Uh, it's it's a cool place where you can pretty much run it pretty almost as hard as you want to up top and just carry momentum so uh, yeah we just found a found a home to that place and, and a liking to it completely different story here tonight at Macon Speedway but you've already swept a weekend in Illinois what do you have to do to sweep another weekend here in the land of Lincoln uh, just stay on our game and uh, not get caught sleeping I, I think uh, especially at this place it's pretty elbows up and uh, on the hammer so you just got to be on your game and and uh, just kind of paying attention because it's it's tight corners here just um, you know anyone make a mistake in front of you you could get caught up in it pretty easy so uh, just keeping your eyes open and just paying attention to what's in front of you and and obviously having a good car and and uh, and just me being on point too so uh, yeah just kind of the same thing uh, that we did last time we were here just and I, I think we'll be okay. That's car number 08, Cannon McIntosh. You can find him up front. He's chasing his ninth win of 2022. Some good insight here tonight at Macon Speedway for the Camfield Memorial, and you can catch all the action with MAV-TV on Flow.